Besides, we could never afford someone of her caliber. Nah. Isn't it great to smell? I'm stating that Jane and Michael Banks require the best possible nanny at the lowest possible wage. Father, we've written our own advertisement. What on earth? Please, George, I think we should hear it. <laughs> This choice position Have a cherry This person Rosy cheeks No words That's a part I put in Play games All sorts You must be kind You must be witty Very sweet And very witty Well of all the ridiculous George please Take, take us on out, out. to the advertisement. What advertisement? We haven't placed any advertisement. Now, let's see. 
play games all sorts, which I most certainly can. Take us on outings, give us treats. Michael, that's our advertisement. Rosy cheeks and fairly pretty. There's no objection on that score, I hope. Oh, none at all. I'm glad to hear it. But oh, take it up with Miss Banks. She manages all that side of things. Nothing domestic has anything to do with me. And don't forget the references. I make it rule to never give references. Oh, I see. I'll see the children now, thank you. Yes, of course. You'll find they're very nice children. Now, this is... Mary Poppins. Oh. Jane, don't stare. And Michael, close your mouth. We are not a codfish. Best foot forward, split spot. Mrs. Brill, mm -hmm. we have a new nanny. She passed the interview then. Or I did. A very tidy nursery, I must say. Tidier than I was expecting. Who's responsible for that? Miss Brill. Me. I am. I like to th keep things Neat. Do you indeed? Well, I look forward to making use of that. If there's one thing I appreciate, it's a child's word whose I can depend on. Now, first things first. I always say the proper place to hang my hat is on a hat stand. It can't get longer, can it? Oh, and up we go. That's not possible. It is. Mary That's Poppins. Yes. How could you know what we wanted in a nanny when we made our list? <laughs> Your list? I'm not an item in the weekly shop. Thank you very much. We'd better keep an eye on. Hang on, Michael. Just hang on. We'd better keep an eye on this one. She's tricky. Flowers! How did you come then? It's as if the wind just blew you here. It did. Now, stand over there. <laughs> Just as I thought. A noisy, mischievous, troublesome little boy. What? Noisy, mischievous, and... Now you! Thoughtless, short-tempered, and untidy. I can't believe it. Let me see. What about your measurements, Mary Poppins? So people say, each virtue virtually knows no bad. Is great and patiently sound. I'm practically perfect from head to toe. If I had a fault, it would never dare to show. I'm so practically perfect in every way. Now, perhaps there are a few questions. Your temperamental, never. Your grouchy, your grouchy. The very thought. Stay tender when the going gets tough. Quite the contrary. Do you be sorry? Is it that a big buzz? Mm -hmm. Or have objections to playing with us? Some minor improvements may not go amiss, but at all times you must remember this. I like games, but I choose them. That's not fair. I didn't say I was fair. I said I was practically perfect.
before I walked into your house, Michael Banks. Have you met these two birds? I've seen them running around chasing kites. Well, it's not a real kite. So, what are you up to? Mary Poppins says it's a game called A Walk in the Park. Remember that game? Bert. Some game. I rather eat uh, spinach. Uh, Come along, Bert. Let's go. Uh, no. <laughs> you can't come with us. You're too filthy. And we don't want to go to the stinky park anyway. Oh, yes, you do. Because when you walk with Mary Poppins, you go to places you've never dreamed of. You don't know her.
happen? Yes, but how? Not you again? But how did you make it happen? Anything can happen if you let it. Okay, okay. Mary Poppins. Yes. How long will you stay? Mm, we'll see. You won't leave us, will you? I'll stay until the wind changes. No, 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 no. Now, run along in. Let's go. I, I keep an eye on you and all of you too. Jane and Mike want to say goodnight. Oh, tell them you've given me the message. George, please. Hello. Hello Daddy. Kid. You've had a fantastic day. <gasps> I, 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 I just think. Yeah. Come on. We sang with the Basca and danced with the statue. If I'm not crazy, I think. You wouldn't have approved that. If you know that, then why did you do it? They were dancing statues too. Um, Father, could I have a kite? Um, a proper one. Not a big one. Could you fly it? Well, you could always teach me. When would I have time to do all that? Now! Would you please let me get on? Good night. <coughs> right now. <coughs> Poor Michael. Oh, he cares about his flying kites. I used to love flying kites at the age. Like there's a time between. My nanny, Miss Andrews, soon frightened it out of me. Is it out of the question to do without a nanny? Don't be absurd. All the best people have nannies so the wives could do charity work and entertain. Yes. Which reminds me, how is your tea party coming on? I'm not sure. It seems so odd to send out invitations to people I hardly know. But there's some people you should know. Remember, by your friends shall ye be judged. But that's the point. They're not my friends. Winfred, dearest, I'm only thinking of you. Are you going to say something, something to that Mary Poppins about this afternoon? I don't think so. Very well. But just make sure she's doing things our way and not hers. <laughs> change, tides can turn, sink or swim, see what you learn. Me, I was told, when I was small, just let it trade, so I learned the more. Chim, chim, any chim, 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 This is Brill. What about the cake? It's just from the oven and too hot to be iced to touch by that matter. Are you quite sure you know how to ice it? Quite sure. And in case you're worried, I've not been exchanged by the fairies for a total nicampoon. I'll just go upstairs and check the drawing room. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Brill. Yes? I'd like to be helpful. I'd like to be rich. But my destiny thought otherwise. Miss Brill, mm -hmm. Mother wants you in the drawing room. She says you can tell Robert and I what to do. Does she indeed? Please, Mrs. Brill. I don't mind. Honest. All right, I'll give you one task and one task only. Put the icing tools next to the cake. Do you think you can manage that? Is that all? For you? Yes. For me? No. I swear, a slave in ancient
ancient Rome was not a pleasure cruise compared to my life in this house. <sighs> Michael. Yes? Why don't we make the eyes sing? Because we don't know how to. Don't be so feeble. Get the eggs and the flour. Wait, are they eggs in icing? They are in mine. I don't think they Robinson are. Robinson and I, bring me the cake. Don't forget to use the mittens. Just bring me the cake already. I was not there. Mrs. Brill, go up and get ready now. Oh dear, Robertson A, Robertson A, what have you done? Should I call the doctor? I don't think that would be necessary, ma'am. Children, you know how important my party is? Now, you deserve some really nasty medicine. You just wait till bedtime. I don't think we shall wait till then. Why not go up and get changed? We'll clear up, won't we? But we're not ill. I won't take it and you can't make me. And that, as in so many things, your information is faulty. Open. But strawberry ice. Now you. <sighs> I'm not sure I like strawberry eyes. I'm not sure I, I care. Open! I'm Cordell. Now, I'm off we go, you two. Michael, I know you like to keep things neat. Jane? I told you she was tricky. Must we? Can't Robert and I do it when he wakes up? He is a servant. With that attitude, you'll get through a lot of stuff before you're very old. Besides, in every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. You find the fun and stuff. The job's a game. And every task you undertake becomes a piece of cake.
to today. I thought we could play our next game. What game? A visit to the bank. That's not your game. Did Daddy agree? If he did, you must have put the idea into town somehow. What an impertinent thing to say. Me? Putting ideas into other people's heads? Really? the value of this six pence. No, that is worth. It's valued how you spend. Do good and may you have good luck. And what do you say to Mr. Northbrook? Thank you! That's right. Ah, what a little boy. I would have dared interrupt my father. Were you ever a little boy. Of course. And my nanny again. Miss Andrews check me out my father's grave. And what about your mother? My mother? I should have seen guys either of them more than once a week. Then who kissed you goodnight? Mrs. Andrews. <laughs> A heart and kisses and all that suppy nonsense. Come on. For Daddy. For Daddy Bank. Daddy! Michael, just, just, just stand over here. When hmm, you invest in the bank's money, what exactly are you looking for? A uh, good idea? 
or a good man? I suppose I should say that's a good idea. But a good man is much more rare and much more valuable. Come along, children. Spit, spit. Mr. Bone Hustler, I have considered your arguments, but I'm afraid the answer is no. So you don't recognize a good idea? Perhaps not, but I recognize a good man when I see one. You will regret this paradox. The life has broken, and with hopes, mission soon will be. A man you're certain at this class deserves a Exactly, is your new factory opening? Thank you, sir. You won't be happy. Eat the bird, tuppence the bag, tuppence. Tuppence, tuppence a bag. Yes, that disgusting old woman. Don't point. And for your information, she's in the least of disgusting. But she's just a bundle of rags. When will you learn to look past what you see? To the steps of St. Paul's, the little old bad woman comes. In her own special way To the people she calls Come by my bag for the crowd Show them you can And you would be glad if you do The young ones are hungry The mess are so bare All it takes is tuppence from me The bird, tuppence a bag, tuppence, tuppence, tuppence a bag. Feed the bird, that's what she cries, while overhead her birds fill the skies. Here, one bag, please. All around the cathedral, the saints and apostles look down as she sells her wares. And although you can see it, you know they're a smiling each time someone shows that he cares. Though her words are simple. She's calling to you. Feed the bird. Tuppence a bird. Tuppence. Tuppence. Tuppence a bag. Goodbye, bird women. Didn't that feel nice? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Stop. No. Stop. <gasps> Hello, Bert. Hello, Mary. Hello, kids. Hi. <coughs> Hi. Hi. We're off to Mrs. Coy's talking shop. Woohoo! Care to join us? Let's go. Wait. Wait. Do you know who's Mrs. Corey? Who's Mrs. Corey? Mrs. Corey is older than anyone in the world. She talked to William before he went conquering. To Vlad before he went impaling. And to Alexander before he went so great. Let me just stop you there, Bert. That's impossible, and we all know Vlad never existed. 
anything can happen if you let it. Come along, let's go. Mrs. Corey, Mrs. Corey. Well, 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 if it isn't Mary Poppins with Jane and Michael Banks. She knows us. And how's poor little Georgie? Who's that? Georgie Banks, of course. Your father, he used to give his nanny the slip and come into my shop here in secret. I remember George used to love my gingerbread stars. Now, Mary Poppins, what can I do for you? Well, I did want an ounce of conversations. I'm out of conversations and right out of words too. But I do have some letters. <gasps> now, what words can we make? Super. Fragile, Listic, XP, Ali, Doshus. Th those don't count. Of course it's a word. And unless I'm very much mistaken, I think it's a rather useful one. When trying to express oneself, it's frankly quite absurd. To live through lengthy lexicons to find the perfect word. A little spontaneity keeps conversations keen. You need to find a way to say precisely what you Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious If you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious Supercalifragilistic, expialidocious I'm done. It can mean exactly what you want to do I'm the little, I'm the last But Stone Age men were chatting, they would simply grunt the fight Oh no, if they heard this word, they, they must, must have used it once or twice I'm sure the Roman Empire only took me a piece Because the slightest scholar never had a word like this Oh, supercalifragilistic, expialidocious If you say it softly, the effect may be hypnosis Check your breath before you speak in case it's highly tosious oh, supercalifragilistic, expialidocious I'm the little, I'm the lie, I'm the little, I'm the lie you know, you can't say backward, which is so you could like picks the kids little girl for like really puss, but that's too hard, isn't it? Yeah. She may be tricky, but she's marvelously good. So when catch has got to do, don't need it for dismay. Just summon up this word, and you've got a lot to say. Think I'm visiting continents and sixty bubbles now.
George, why on earth are you home so early? Is everything all right? No, everything is all wrong. After I refused to loan the bank's money to some German chap, he went to the chief rivals, they gave him the money, and it looks to be set a gold mine. Well, they can't expect you to get it right every time. That's exactly what they expect. <sighs> hey, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. If you say it loud enough, you know it's supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. in the nursery tonight. Yes. Th that's not fair. Daddy loses his temper and we are shut up in the nursery. Daddy's mean and he's rotten and I hate him. Jane, yes. take that back this instant. I will not have you criticize your father. Take the children upstairs, please, Mary Poppins. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go, children. Jane, I said let's go. If you have any troubles, I'd like to share them. Don't worry, you will. I've been suspended without a salary until they decide what to do with me. Twists and turns, ups and downs. One moment smiles, the <coughs> next moment frowns. But bad tempered faces had better change quick. Cause if the wind changes, the face might just stick. Why does daddy always get so gross? Fathers are supposed to look after their children, not yell at them all the time. Maybe. But have you asked yourself who looks after their fathers when things go wrong? Hmm. I got it. The mothers, I suppose. Not the children. Wouldn't that be rather upside down. Sometimes families are rather upside down, for a while anyway. But I don't want to be in an upside down family. I wish I could just run away. No. Why don't you? But you miss me. No, I wouldn't. Yeah. That's all with you two. Now go to bed at once. Oh, Mary Poppins, I wish you would just leave us alone. Be careful of the things you wish for. Don't you ever stop. You should govern your temper or your temper will govern you. I'm sick and tired of your stupid things and your stupid games. Just get into bed. No, I won't and you can't make me. In that, as in so many, 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 many things. Your information is faulty. Mm -hmm. Playing the game, having a ball. Those who will play, shall play it all. Will we meet again? Maybe when they've learned how to play the Shadow. 
to join in the sweeps tonight, aren't we? The best view in the world, eh? Chim chimini, chim chimini, chim chimini, chim chimini, chim chim chimini. A sweep is as lucky as lucky can be. Chim chimini, chim chimini, chim chim chimini. Good luck will rub off when he shakes hands with you. Oh, blow me a kiss, Bert. has changed. But they're good kids, Mary. Would I be bothering with them if they weren't? But I can't help them if they won't let me. So? So they've got to, the ne to do their next bit on their own. Cheerio, Bert. Keep an eye on them for me. Where's Mary Poppins? Gone. Gone? Miss Brill, mm -hmm. what does over Gwami? Why? Because that's what she's written in the notes. Dear Jane and Michael, keep playing the games. Au revoir, Mary Poppins. It's French and it means to meet again. Now come along before you catch your own death. As tidy as I can make it, ma'am. Seeing as how the past six weeks I've got all the work to do, taking care of the children ever since she left. And now I've got all the work to do, getting the house ready to welcome her back. If you knew how hard it was to track her down. Really, ma'am? Fancy that. Mrs. Brill? Yes? It is her. Isn't it? Well, I don't know who else. But the note says, till we meet again. George, dear, you're going to be surprised. Winfred, you know very well I hate surprises. Oh, George, I do believe you're going to be proud of me. Hurry up, everybody. I wanted to find everything. Smith's spots, big ass. I hope you had a good journey. It was stylish and pleasant. Huh. Where did George go? I'm afraid he had an urgent appointment. It's not much of a house, is it? We like it. Then it doesn't take a lot to keep you happy. Look at the dust. There and there. <laughs> Filth. Now, just a minute. Ah. You must be the children. Pity, I don't suppose you know who I am? Yes, Michael, don't do it. we don't do, do. It. do not do it, Michael, please. The Holy Terror. Holy Terror? Ah, impudent boy. Ah. And you, why aren't you not wearing your stockings? This is your fault, Michael. This is <laughs> because I don't like them. That what? Well, I've arrived here just in time. By chance, I brought the punishment that best befits the crime. Brimstone and chicle and garlic soap. These 
Those are the tools of my trade. With spoonfuls of sugar, you won't have a hope of seeing the changes I made. Open! Does it taste as bad as it smells? Was open! You said we're going to boarding school at once. As for the girl, I should take charge of her myself. I won't stand for whining or whinging or whipping, crying or lying or sobbing or simping. I fear it's clear that in these two such bad habits, love, but they tend to throttle them, uncock them, but tall, brimstone and she calls. to my room. I'm disappointed. I truly am. I thought it was going to be. You all know who. Mr. Andrew? Mm-mm. Mary Poppins? Yes. Ha, with the umbrella. Michael, what are we going to do? Well, the only thing we can actually do. Hurry up before she brings back that bottle. She didn't even get to taste it. <laughs> okay, run away. matter and who's after you? The nastiest nanny in the whole world. world. Is she really as bad as all that? You saw didn't you? She looks like something that would eat its young. Miss Andrews was daddy's nanny. Which explains a whole lot. Poor daddy. Ever since he stops working, all he ever does is sit and mopes. Which kind of sort of makes him look, uh, let's say, like a giant plum. Like this maybe. Mary Poppins used to say he needed our help. And now it's too late. Oh, I wouldn't say that. <coughs> I'll tell you what. Why don't we start things off with a bit of a shake? Why? For good luck. Why? Why would shaking hands with you bring us good luck? Didn't anyone ever tell you it's lucky to shake a chimney sweep's hand? If I'm doing it, you will do it. I'm not doing you it. You will do it. Okay, you do it first. Ha, <laughs> you did it. I, I did do it. it. Ow. Oh. Michael. Look, it's a real kite. Oh, kite. What's the matter? You've always wanted to fly a proper kite. Eh, 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 eh. Explain. Well, I've always wanted to fly one with Daddy. Of course you have. But you need to know how it's done. Get a bit of training in, and you make him the proudest fellow in the whole blooming empire. Tuppence for paper and string. You can have your own set of wings. With your feet on the ground, your head is right. With your crystal is tight. Your oh, let's go fly a kite up to the high sky. Let's go fly a kite. 
17 in a tin. And where are your coats? Let's just say we didn't have time to put them on. Because we've kind of run away. Have you indeed? <sighs> oh, Mary Poppins. It's been so awful since you went. And now Miss Andrews come. And Dad, he's ruined. And we didn't help him like you wanted us to. And oh, my eye. But your life's a tragedy. Now, off we go. And don't dwaddle. Um. Stop right there. I think they saw. She came this morning as a surprise for Daddy. Did she? Well, maybe I'll be surprised for her. But it's really nice to see you. Welcome, Mary. Your sight so up. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was awkward. You really are. Welcome back, Mary Poppins. Come along, children. Let's go. Uh, Come one back more thing, one right more here. Thing. One more thing. Aren't you going to shake hands with good old Bert? Forget luck. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 Does he always <laughs> act like this? I don't need any luck. Thank you very much. <laughs> Someone's angry. Not like that, you stupid boy. You stay there and clean the grate again. Ah, it's still dirty. Ah. Hello there. So you've decided to come crawling back, have you? Who are you? Mary Poppins! Mary Poppins? But you left without notice! And have come back without notice! I see! And what do you expect me to do? Pack! Pack? You insolent young person! How dare you speak to me this way? Proud at the way he turned out! Shining example, a pillar, a post! They will have their problems, but him more than most! I recognize fully that you are a bully who views cruel deeds as a pawn. Well, now here's the cash because you've met your man. Brimstone and cheese, just a spoonful of sugar. Brimstone and cheese, just a spoonful of sugar. Brimstone and cheese, won't work. Hands off, hands off, hands off. Bye-bye. <laughs> there. That's given her a taste of her own medicine. Mary Poppins, wherever did you come from? She came from... Michael. Jane. Michael. Michael, you're very naughty to go running off like that. And I should be as angry as anything if I weren't so pleased to see you. Where's Miss Andrew? She's gone. Gone? Why? She didn't give a reason, ma'am. I'll get it. <laughs> Mr. Policeman. Oh. What Have did I do seat. now? Um, um, uh, what, can I get you anything? Good evening, ma'am. Oh. We found this one. The one in the <gasps> middle of the park. Good night. I thought I did something Thank wrong. <laughs> George. Miss Andrew, she left George. Mary Poppins is back. Is she? Well, well, I wonder if I might have a word. Yeah. Things haven't been going so well for us since you left us. And about my wages, sir. If you don't mind, I won't take any just now. I should prefer to let them accrue. But if you only knew how many payments are accruing as it is. Now, I must get started. Jane, Michael, speak spot. Come along, darling. After so many years of good service, you've made a wrong decision. What's the worst that can happen? 
Winfred, <laughs> if I am to be dismissed by the bank, we'll be destitute. Well, we'll still have what really matters, the children and each other. up here. With uh, the knee. <sighs> and where else would a chimney sweep be? The world awfully big, isn't it? And what does that tell you? Oh, that's the easiest question. That were small? Nope. And unimportant? Speak? For yourself. I thought I got them right. Oh, you didn't. Not us. So much but our troubles. They seem so big down in the nursery. But up here. That's more like it. Troubles are never so bad when you look at them. From a little higher up. Oh my gosh.
will you be good enough to explain? First of all, I'd like to make one thing clear. I never explain anything. Come along, children. Let's go. Step in time, step in time, step in time. It's happening. Of all things, the chairman wants to see me at the close of business. Tonight. Tonight? Yes, tonight. We might all just face it. In a few hours, I might have joined the ranks of the unemployed. Are you quite sure? Quite sure. So we'd better make some plans. <gasps> well, I never. So that's where I'd hit them. What Dear are they? Red stars. I wanted from my nanny, but I used to think that when I grew up, I learned all there was to know about stars. <coughs> Funny. I haven't thought of that in years. I'm not usually sentimental. <coughs> it's good to look back sometimes. It's Lam Poppins' woman. She's responsible for all this. I know that person. What's that word she's always saying? Just a spoonful of sugar is all that it takes. It changes bread and water into tea and cake. A spoonful of sugar goes a long, long way. So have yourself a healthy helping every day. Good luck, Governor. Thank you for taking good luck to you. I don't know where mine is. Um, and told to keep, spend them carefully, is it? Yes. Yeah. And then what did you buy them? Uh, nothing yet. And now it's time to give them to I'll give you mine later. Um, <laughs> we just thought a little bit of loose cash would loosen things up a little? I suppose Mary Poppins put you up to this. She hasn't said a word. Okay. Good night, Daddy. Good night, Michael and Jay. Good night, Daddy. We do love you, you know. Mummy. As we can all see, Daddy is really worried, isn't he? Yes, he is. going to go to the bank with him, aren't you? I'm not going to, but I'm very interested in the lottery. But Mary Poppins says anything is possible. Do you really believe that, Mary Poppins? <laughs> anything can happen if you let it. Sometimes things are difficult, but you can't bear it. Doesn't have to be so. Changes can be made. You can move a mountain if you use a larger spade. Anything can happen, it's a marvel. You can be a butterfly or just stay in love. Stretch your mind beyond fantastic. Dreams are made of strong elastic. Take some sound and first you won't regret it.
feel fizz be the bird, sir? Only tap in the bag. I will take it as a great honor if you could kindly feed them for me. Oh, father. You turn down a scheme that was bound to make millions. And we all want to know why. Then, I'll tell you. I refuse Mr. Vaughn Hustler because his scheme was horrible. He told me about the assets, good profits, and growth. But there wasn't a word about the people. So, I apologize for running the bank, but I do not apologize for understanding there are much more important things in life than making money. My dear chum, one hustler's scheme has ruined our arriving in the where it seems cannot be done. We don't want your apologies. Work for an hour. Oh my word! And another thing, do you remember giving a loan to a fellow called Northbrook? Oh snap. He's been paying it to open two new factories with the percentage of the new step to make a fortune. Oh my word! Give you the word. Give you the word. I'll 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 give the word. I'll give you the word. i Miss Andrew. The holy child! She told me everything I know. Well, now it's your chance to forget it. It's all right, darling. I've made a bad fortune. Really? By way of recompense, we'd like to offer you the job of senior manager with a salary at double. Exactly. How much has he made for you? Triple. Quadruple your present rate. Close your mouth, George. Close it. Close your mouth, George. We are not a codfish. Well, I accept. But from now on, you must understand one thing, and one thing only. My family comes first. Well... Um, we are not agree, a fish. Agree. 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 Okay. I'm going to fight. I'm afraid of underestimating. Oh, George. Anything can happen. It's official. You can choose the super or the superficial. You are a fine boy, Michael Banks. And one day, you will be a fine man. <laughs> oh, Mary Poppins. This makes me anxious when you talk like that. Like what? All gentle and kind and not a bit like you. Be cross, Mary Poppins. Do be cross. Is that the thanks I get for the trouble I've taken? That's much better. Um, Mary Poppins? Yes? Is that locket new? Yes. What's inside it? A portrait. Here's. You'll know when the time comes, and not before. Good night, Mary Poppins. Wait, one more thing. Yeah? You won't leave us, will you? I'll stay until this chain breaks. Good night, children. <coughs> A 
date tonight, isn't it? Yes, but... Well, goodbye then, Mary. Goodbye, but look after yourself. <laughs> <laughs> With every job when it's complete, there is a sense of bittersweet. That moment when you know the task is done. Though in your heart you'd like to stay To help things on their way You've always known They must do it alone There, practically perfect And I hope it remains so Michael, look, it's Mary Poppins' locket, and the chain was broken. Did you remember? I'll stay until the chain breaks. Hmm. What's inside? It's a picture of the three of us. She signed it from Mary Poppins with a great deal of love. Where's Mary Poppins? She's gone. Gone? How peculiar. She'll be back. Now, what do you think? A spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. It's the best I've ever seen. Could we fly you together? Oh, Daddy. Mary Poppins won't be coming back. She's gone forever. My dear, how could you possibly know such a thing? Because we don't need her. Well, not anymore. And other families will, won't they, Daddy? I wonder if she's right, George. We really could do without a nanny from now on. What do you think? I think you better dance. George, this is serious. 